all of you guys are back together again. Yes, it's so nice to see the old friends get, get together with the old gang. I love this role, I love the world, I love everybody involved. It felt great to be together again. It's exciting, you know? It's nice to be included in, in the evening. Meghan Markle, nowhere to be found during the Suits cast reunion at the Golden Globes. And now we know why. Sarah Rafferty, Patrick J. Adams, Gina Torres, and Gabrielle Mock gracing our screens together again for the first time in five years. And fans couldn't get enough. Oh, hey guys. Whoa. Oh. Don't hey. forget about us. When you guys walked out on that stage tonight, I audibly made a sound because like I wasn't expecting it. And it was also amazing to see the suits cast together again. Yes. Felt great to feel that response. I mean, that group of people that were in that ballroom have much better things to do than to be Suits fans. It's just nice to be, you know, invited. And one cast member who also snagged an invite but couldn't make it? The Duchess of Sussex, AKA Rachel Zane. Pearson Hardman's my firm too. ET's learned that the former actress was invited to the mini reunion on Sunday, but sadly had a pre-existing commitment. You have no idea what you passed on. It was great to work on, such a great cast and crew. We had a really fun time. Meghan started on the show until 2018 when she met her now husband, Prince Harry. And since, the series has gone on to have quite the resurgence. What do you think is behind this, this renewed love for the show? Why has it become such a phenomenon again? I have no idea. It's, it's hard to find a show you can binge watch that many episodes of <laughs> these days, so that could have something to do with it, but good shows are everlasting. Folks, the show is no longer on the air. No, it's not. It hasn't been on the air for five years, and what's so gratifying for us is that while we were on the air, um, we didn't get the kind of attention that we're getting now. You know, you get these waves, you know, these waves of new fans, so that's exciting. While Gina, who played Jessica Pearson in the legal drama, is still getting used to the attention from new viewers. Gabriel, who starred as Harvey Specter, says he wasn't all that surprised by the show's comeback. You know, it wasn't a shocking moment just because I, the show resonates with people, you know? Whether it's Netflix or TikTok or whatever, you know, it's a new generation that comes in and sees it and goes, wow, this is incredible. And you know, I think people are just catching up. And now that fans have gotten a little tease of their favorite on-screen lawyers together again, the question on everyone's minds. What do us fans have to do to get some type of reboot? Here's what Patrick and Sarah have to say about the idea of returning to their roles of Mike Ross and Donna Paulson. I'm there. I'm ready to go. Uh, I know they're doing this other like spin-off show that they're going to do is like expand the Suits universe. Uh, I would jump in there. I'll do whatever they want. Whatever the fans want, I'm there. Wouldn't it be fun to do like movies here and there so. or like a little check-in, yes, you know? So. I think the Suits universe is going to live on mm -hmm. in in other iterations. So I look forward to being a fan of those too. As for where Patrick thinks Mike and Rachel's story could go? I think they're in Seattle still, you know, saving the world and doing their thing and wearing a lot of raincoats. And yes, yeah, uh, I, I think they're doing well and they're happy out there. That would be my take. We just got to get Rachel back now. She's really busy with some other job, She's I guess. Some other job. Yeah. Here's to hoping fans get the revival they've all been waiting for.